Not sure how well you guys can see this. It's looking nice and dark in here. Woo! <laughs> This movie is crazy. <laughs> I can't believe they did this. All right, we're on another adventure. We're up in North Idaho, way up north where the snow is. Oh, I love it up here. Definitely my favorite location. So I brought along a tent that you guys have been requesting me to use in the snow. You already saw the thumbnail, so you know what it is. <laughs> but let's get out here, find a good spot to camp and set it all up. And in good old bomb outdoor fashion, we're gonna make it nice and cozy. <laughs> Stick around, let's have some fun. All right, I've got a nice little spot here. I think this is gonna work great. I've got a beautiful view of the mountains. I'm somewhat in the trees, not, not fully in the trees, but I think this is gonna be a beautiful spot. All right, we're gonna tamp down the ground real quick, get it nice and uh, level, and we'll start setting it up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, <sighs> getting tired. The wife made me a turkey sandwich and it's delicious. Thank you, Shelby. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, we got the Crew Tri insulated tent, you guys. We're gonna be using that tonight. Uh, you guys have seen it in another video, but I've never tried it in the winter um, and with cold temperatures. So it'll be exciting to see how the insulation does. It's supposed to get fairly cold tonight, maybe down into the 20s and even into the teens. I'm not sure. So we'll get it set up and see what happens.
All right, I got it all set up. There it is. She's looking nice. It did take me a little bit. Um, it's just, there's a lot of processes, I guess, in getting this up and I haven't put it up in a while. So got the little front porch here. Um, I haven't put up the insulated inner tent yet. So that's up next. All right, a lot of you guys are wondering about this tear that I had and if I ever got it fixed. So I haven't fixed it yet, but basically with the fix will be to put like an adhesive tape here that will kind of uh, bond it back together. Um, but I don't know. That was definitely my fault. Um, when I went to cinch it, I kind of cinched it the wrong way. I don't know if that makes sense, but, um, and I did it kind of hard. So it's just holding up the interior tent. Um, I'll get it fixed at some point. <laughs> All right, let's set it up. All right, I got it all set up. Let's go check it out inside. It's gonna be very, very dark. All right, look at that. It's nice and dark in here. Open up these windows so we can have some light in here. Do the other one as well. That looks better. Now I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, I need to get everything else in here and get set up. I don't want it to snow too much on my gear. I also have to run back to the truck. I've, I've got to make a couple trips. Oh man, do I ever make it hard on myself? <laughs> it's all in fun though. It definitely is fun. Well, I'm gonna set everything up real quick and uh, I'll get back to you guys when it's all finished. I got everything set up. I went ahead and changed into some dry clothes because man, did I get sweaty. <laughs> it was a lot of work. It was definitely a lot of work. All right, let's go check it out. Are you ready for this? All right, here it is. It's all set up in bomb outdoor fashion. You know what that means. All right, we got our little cook station here, as well as a prep table. Nice little area. All right, and here's the big reveal. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> I got my bed, well it's a cot, and I've got my lamp and my fireplace. Check that out. Ain't nothing like a cozy fireplace in your tent. Tell you what. So I've got a picture frame with Wiley in it, and that was actually drawn by one of you. I can't remember exactly who did it, um, but I've got it in a picture frame. Good old Wiley, gotta have him with me. And as far as the fireplace goes, um, it's just the LED. Like, there is no heat to this. Um, I do have that feature. This little fireplace does have a feature for heat, but I'm powering it off my little power pack and I cannot, I cannot power it with this. So we will not have heat in here. So this is really just for ambiance, a little coziness in the tent. <laughs> so it is almost five o'clock and our outdoor temperature is 33 degrees Fahrenheit and the inside temperature is 40 degrees Fahrenheit. For my Celsius friends, that's zero degrees Celsius outside and five degrees Celsius inside.
Well, that was pretty cool. Nothing like an unexpected little uh, snow shower. They kind of look like dipping dots. <laughs> Anybody know what dipping dots are? That's what they look like. Little tiny little dipping dots. I'm probably thinking that because I'm getting a little hungry. So it's probably time to eat dinner. All right, we're doing a subscriber recipe today. Chili. We're going to be doing a chili. I'm really excited about it. Got some Heinz beans there. Oh yeah. Let me add that to our pot. Diced fire roasted tomatoes. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, this is gonna be good. Add in some of that garlic. Oh yeah. A little bit into this one too. Why not? That's what the recipe calls for. It also calls for a beef cube. So I'm gonna throw one into that pot and one into the meat. Really get those flavors going. Oh man, that smells so good. Can't wait to eat it. Huh. This is called Fireman's Chili and it was uh, sent over to me by retired fireman. This gentleman right here. Thank you so much. I'm excited to try it. Really excited. And I'm hungry. All right, the meat's all done. We're gonna transfer it over to the pot. And that is going to be really good. Trying to leave a little bit of the fat out of it. If I can. Give that a nice stir. Oh, look at all that. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of meat. Oh, it's gonna be good. Almost forgot, I gotta put the hot chili powder. <laughs> How can you have chili without chili powder? All right, we're just gonna kinda, to taste, see what happens here. Oh, that smells good. That just amped it up a bit. All right, we gotta try it out. See if I got enough chili powder in there. Mm. Oh, oh, that's good. That's perfect. That is amazing. Put that lid on there and let it simmer for a little bit. Okay, we are going to make a bread bowl. Okay, we'll just go like that and tear it out. Hey, look at that. It's a little bread bowl. We'll just take this. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Tear it out. So I've got some bread there and got my bread bowl. Oh boy, this is gonna be good. I can tell. Oops. Try. 
Oh, yeah. Look at that. Chili in a bread bowl. We're going to add a little cheese to that. I know it's not part of the recipe, but I already tasted the chili, and it's delicious. And I know that cheese goes good on chili. And that's what I'm talking about. Right there. Oh, yeah. Whew, I'm excited. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I just thank you so much for this time to come out here and, and play around in your creation. But Lord, my heart's heavy for this world. There's so much going on. There's wars. There's rumors of wars. There's natural disasters. There's just so much going on. All those things, Lord, just get us distracted and our eyes off of you. But I just pray, Lord, that this world will focus more on you in these coming times, that we'll cling to you, we'll trust you, and we'll be useful for you. It truly is an amazing time that we're in, and I look forward to your return. I thank you for this food. Bless it to my body. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Oh, boy. Look at that chili ball. <laughs> Fireman chili right there. It looks amazing. And I already know it tastes delicious because I've been testing it out. <laughs> But here we go. That, that hits the spot. It's really warm. It goes down in the belly. It's got some kick with that uh, chili. And I just really like the ingredients. Very, very simple. It really is crazy the things you can put together with just a few simple ingredients. And you can make all types of different things in different ways. <laughs> this is definitely going to help keep me warm tonight, if you know what I mean. Well, it's not camping unless you have a campfire. I'm gonna use this instant fire starter. See if we can get a blaze going here. I brought some Jiffy Pop. Popcorn, popcorn. I haven't really done this over the fire like this. Um, usually I have a grate, but we'll see what happens. I uh, forgot that at home. One thing I forgot, wow. I bring the whole house camping, how did I forget that? <laughs> it's popping. It's also catching on fire. Whoa, I think we might have popcorn now. I don't know how much though. Should we check? Oh, we got some popcorn. We got some popcorn in there. Ooh, that's hot. Ooh. 
Okay, how about using the glove? <laughs> oh, look at that! We've got some popcorn! Look at that! I did it over the fire. Oh, yes! That's a nice looking piece of popcorn. Look at that, I got some popcorn and I did it over the fire. Ain't nothing like some Jiffy Pop. Mmm, that makes for a tasty treat. I do see some, I do see some burned ones, but what do you expect? You're doing it on the fire. Wow, the stars are out in full force tonight. Looks beautiful. We've got clear skies and about a bazillion stars up there. Maybe I'll take a picture real quick and I'll share it real quick with you guys. Let's see if we can snap a picture really quick. Got to turn off all the lights here. There we go. And there we go. There it goes. 30 seconds. Ooh, it's dark. We do have a little bit of light there though. Might make a, a cool little ambiance on the picture. Three, two, one, zero. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Wow, that's cool. That is really cool. Beautiful. I did have one more of those funky colored flames. I'm not going to use this in the stove again, so I'll just toss it in here, I guess. Man, it's a really good night, just sitting around this fire. Enjoyed some good food, I've got some popcorn. And I might watch a movie a little bit later, we'll see. We'll see. You know, I'm just doing, I'm pulling out all the, all the bomb outdoor stuff. <laughs> Having a good time, you guys. Sure hope you guys are too.
<laughs> Could you imagine trying to feed the train with all that wood just to keep it going yourself? Uh oh. What's going to happen now? Ooh, steam, hot. <laughs> run, 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 run. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> Dave, I don't know how they did this, but they did a good job. This movie is crazy. <laughs> I can't believe they did this. All right, I'm in the tent. It's still pretty cold in here. <laughs> it is currently 21 degrees Fahrenheit outside. I don't know if you can see that. 21 degrees Fahrenheit outside and 32 degrees inside. So for my Celsius friends, that's negative six outside and zero degrees Celsius inside. Now I just got everything buttoned up. So I'm really hoping that it'll start to warm up in here. Um, so remember that number, it's 32 degrees inside, <laughs> zero degrees Celsius. We'll see if we can warm it up. So that was a pretty funny little movie. Um, it was a silent film. And if you guys know what a public domain movie is, um, basically it's a movie that has no copyrights, um, because it's either really old or they just didn't file their, uh, copyrights in time. But a public domain movie, um, you can download them for free. You can watch them. You can do whatever. And I just thought it was really cool to see like an old time film. This one was called The General. And uh, actually, I think the movie was a kind of a flop or something happened. Anyways, it was really interesting to just kind of look at and, and learn about an old, old film. <laughs> Boy, has technology come a long ways. I tell you what, it is crazy. So crazy. Well, I'll update you guys here in a little bit. Um, it's currently 9 o'clock in the evening. And like I said, we're sitting at 32 degrees in here. But it's 21 degrees outside, so that is a good, good little jump. <laughs> but now that it's buttoned up, we'll see if it'll climb. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, we're climbing temperatures. It's currently 20 degrees Fahrenheit outside. You see that? And 42 degrees inside. That's pretty good. And that's also negative 
that's negative seven Celsius and six degrees Celsius in here. Also, I have another thermometer up here and it's reading 44 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's doing pretty good, you guys. This is just body heat. I even took off my jacket because um, I'm getting ready for bed. I'm, I'm actually pretty tired. <laughs> so I don't know. So it is about 22 degrees warmer than the outside right now, which I'll take that any day. That's definitely warmer. It was a good day today. Um, I had a whole lot of fun and I'm ready for bed. So I will see all of you in the morning. Good night. Oh man, it's dark in here. I'm gonna turn on the light. Where are you at? Ah. Oh. Well, good morning. It's a nice cold morning. Let's look at the temperature. What's the temp? Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, we've got. 20 degrees outside right now 20 degrees outside and it's 42 degrees inside here so for celsius friends that's negative seven outside and six degrees celsius inside so yeah there you go another uh 20 22 degrees or whatever that it's holding at that's pretty good pretty good Oh, I didn't sleep too bad. I did get a little chilly. Um, but I think we actually dipped down lower than lower than what I thought we were. Let's see here. So it's 20 degrees now. Let's see how low it got last night. 16 degrees last night for the low. Negative 9 Celsius. Whew. It got a little chilly. It did, it did get a little chilly. But I stayed nice and comfortable, so that's good. All right, well, I better open up some windows and get the light in here. Otherwise, I'll just be in a little cave all day. <laughs> Where's the zipper? Can't see. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, I can see. Oh, we've got light. Sure is dark in here though with this thing buttoned up. <sighs> Looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. 
Maybe we'll get a little more snow, I don't know. All right, coffee, 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 coffee. What a beautiful morning. I just love being out here in the winter. So peaceful and quiet in the woods. If you've never tried winter camping, I really suggest it. Just make sure you bring the proper equipment to stay warm and you will have a magical time. There's no doubt about that. <sighs> it's just awesome. All right, it's time for breakfast. We're gonna be doing an experiment. So I heard this on my local radio station and it's called the Groundhog Sausage Dog. Let's see if we can make it. So we're gonna make some pancakes. That'll be like our bun. I'm not sure exactly. This is gonna be an interesting way of doing it. Here we go. Blueberry pancakes, oh yeah. All right, for our sausage dog, we're gonna be using Jimmy Dean. Let's see what I can do out of it. Let's go with something like that. We're gonna wanna have a uh, big enough pancake to really cover that sausage dog.
I know it sounds a little strange, but sausage and uh, pancakes do go together. But we're gonna bind it with some gravy. One, two, three. Yes, I did it. All right, sausage is done. Now it's time for some gravy. We got some country gravy. I'm not sure how much of this to make, really. I'll just pour that in there. We've got our pancake. Drop that in there. Nice. We've got our sausage dog. Right in the center. And then we've got our gravy. Add that to the top of it, I guess. It's all an experiment. Does not look good at all. <laughs> and then I'm gonna add a little bit of maple syrup because you can't have a pancake without maple syrup. Groundhog sausage dog. Oh boy, that looks very interesting. <laughs> Look at that, who come up with this? It's silly. I guess we gotta try it though. Mmm, oh no. Mmm. Oh man, there's so many flavors to that. That is delicious. Look at that. Groundhog Sausage Dog. It's actually really good, you guys. That is delicious. You got the blueberry pancake. You got the sausage that's awesome. And that country gravy. I love country gravy. And then syrup. You know, I was going to put some ketchup on it too. And it might sound weird, but I guess you kind of need ketchup with a like hot dog, sausage dog or something. Maybe next time. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's amazing. Man, it's beautiful out here. They got the sun coming out. You got the beautiful white snow, beautiful trees. What more could you ask for? <laughs> Man, I had a real good time in the crew a try. Um, the thing held up really well. 
I stayed nice and cozy in there. I love the insulation, the sound dampening, and how dark it gets, you guys. It really does make for a unique camping experience. Maybe next time I'll bring a heater along or something, and we'll see what kind of temperatures we can get inside there. Um, I think that would be kind of fun. Maybe a, a little test or something. All right, well, I've got to get out of here. I've got a couple hour drive ahead of me. I got to pack up this tent and move on out. Once again, thank you so much for watching. As always, God bless, and I will see you on the next adventure. Bye!